Hey guys, this is that one teacher and on this channel we talk about placement process of companies so that you can get clear idea on how to prepare for interviews and what recruiters are looking for in their ideal candidate. Before starting this video, I would like to make an announcement that I will be starting a community post on this channel about various companies that are hiring MBA candidates. I will also share the eligibility criteria and other required details plus the links to apply. For that, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified about the community post when it comes out. Coming back to the topic of this video, today we'll be discussing about the placement process of Tech Mahindra. Few of my friends from different colleges work in this company and this video is based on their experience. So let's start by answering the most important question. What is the package offered by Tech Mahindra at the time of placements? Tech Mahindra offers 5 to 7 lakhs per annum to MBA candidates from tier 2 and tier 3 colleges. But getting into Tech Mahindra is not easy. There are 4 rounds of placement process. There is first round of aptitude test. Second round is audio visual assessment and then there are 2 rounds of interviews. The first round aptitude test has 3 sections. These sections are quantitative aptitude, LRDI and verbal ability. Refer to your CAT and CET books to practice these topics. The second round was audio visual assessment. The first part of this assessment is testing communication skills where candidates have to record a one minute video describing themselves in brief. Consider this as a brief tell me about yourself question that is used to select candidates for the interview round. Since AV assessment is elimination round, you should be mindful of your answer. Don't focus on your educational background and talk about your undergraduate college, your UG specialization, scores and then do the same for PG as well. This takes too much time and nothing about this makes you stand out as these things are common more or less with other candidates. Your focus should be on conveying the information that makes you stand out. So let's see what you should talk about and how you should describe it. The first thing that you should talk about is your internship. Here you can talk about your day to day work, the results you have achieved and the project that you did during your internship. The second thing you can talk about is any competitions that you have won and highlight how you have contributed to the team and how you have led the team. The third thing could be your certifications that you did and how they are relevant to the role that you are applying for. The fourth thing that you can talk about is multiple internships. Some candidates have done multiple internships so they should speak about that as that makes them stand out. The fifth thing that makes you stand out is your previous work experience. So candidates who are experienced should talk about that as well. The second part of this audio visual assessment is to record a video pitch about a product that currently exists or is something entirely new. And the effective way to pitch a product is to use spin model. Google about the various examples on this spin model, practice it couple of times and you'd be good to go. The next rounds were interviews. The first interview had questions like, tell me about yourself, tell me about your internship experience or your previous work experience. Why do you want to join Tech Mahindra? Why did you choose marketing? We have discussed about answering these questions in great length in our previous video. You can check that out by clicking on i button. The fourth round was the second interview with head HR, which was a group interview where candidates were given one phrase each and they had to come up with a meaningful sentence in 30 seconds. These phrases could be from your domain. So this was the placement process of Tech Mahindra. Share this with your friends who are currently preparing for this company and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the community posts that will be up soon and also to get notified about our next video when it comes out. This is that one teacher and thank you for watching this video.